hi welcome back to my channel um, I wanted to do a recipe with you guys but I wanted to do a reaction video so my friend Katie from the shorts are here did a reaction video to my chicken lettuce wraps which I will link above and um, she made the same recipe and then kind of like showed the reaction from her husband and her eating the food so I thought I would do the same thing something the rolls I thought I would do the same thing but with Caitlin from Caitlin's tribe um, I happen to have all the ingredients already at my house so that was cool so I just am gonna do this one today I wanted to do crock pot because I'm not feeling like cooking anything tonight to be honest so these are the things that I will be using it calls for salt Worcestershire sauce a packet of Italian some barbecue sauce literally we have the same barbecue sauce so funny so this recipe will be pretty close to hers um, brown sugar I bought these rolls um, and then obviously the chicken this is only for my husband and I because our kids don't really eat chicken um, I usually make them a separate dinner so I'm just gonna be making a one pound versus two pounds which I'll just adjust accordingly but it shouldn't really matter and then some cookie spray to spray the inside I haven't uh, tried those liners yet but I really do want to try those and I think that's it. I hope I'm not missing anything, but I will get started with this and show you how it's made. Okay, so after spraying, I threw in the chicken and I'm just going to make sure the breast side is face up and we will make the sauce. Okay, like Caitlin, I'm going to wing it. So, I'm gonna do... About a cup, and then okay, we're back. And I'm just do a little bit of that. I don't know. Oh, this Worcestershire sauce, and then my season packet. Just found this wishbone one that I had. That's going in. And then we need some brown sugar. What this do? Like, I don't know. Maybe half a cup. I mean, you can't go wrong. Okay. And then salt. So I'm just doing also the Himalayan salt and I'm gonna put a little bit on top. Okay, added the salt and then I'm also gonna use a whisk just like she did. You guys getting dizzy? <laughs> So it looks pretty good consistency wise. She said you can add a little bit of the chicken broth to this if it's too thick, but I'm thinking this is perfect. Um, I'm just gonna just mix it up. And then let's do a little taste test. Tastes so good. Okay. So, this is done. And I'm just going to pour this on top. Like so. Guess everybody in. Okay. Just incorporate these a little bit, lift it up so it can get the bottom. And, all right. I'm gonna actually do this on, she did hers on high. Um, I'm actually going to do this on 
high. She did hers on low, I think for six to eight hours. I'm gonna do mine on high for like four to six. I think it's about what it comes out to. Um, it's just a little bit later in the day. So put that on high and we are good to go. All right, I will be back to shred the chicken. I'm going to also be using her technique and she used a, a blender, uh, I don't know. She doesn't know what to call it either, a blender stick, I'll show you, um, to break up the chicken and get our roll started. Okay, all right guys, it smells so good. I'm just going to turn it off, I think. All right, so this is what it looks like. I'm going to break it up and then get it on some bread. Okay, mine's a little uh, burnt, but it shouldn't matter. Oh yeah, this is awesome, Caitlin. And I literally hate shredding the chicken. This is like perfect. Wow, thanks girl for that tip. But these, you guys, awesome. Oh wow, it smells so good too. Just going to mix this all up. Like so good. Wow, I love this. I literally hated it because my fork would like go at the bottom and make that like chalkboard sound. Not chalkboard, but like that. I don't know, I couldn't stand it. This is much more doable. Yummy. It's like barbecue chicken with like, even like the burnt pieces of barbecue, it's like, it makes it like actual barbecue chicken. Okay, so. This looks so good. Um, I don't need to add any more barbecue sauce and I'm gonna get it on a bun and show you uh, what it looks like. Yum! Okay, I added the chicken to my roll and I'm just going to put some mozzarella shredded cheese on top. She did provolone on hers, which sounded so good, but I just didn't have any. So I'm gonna sub out that for the mozzarella. And then I added some sweet potato fries that I made and a little broccoli medley on the side as well. And we will get to trying this, you guys. Stay tuned. I'm sitting here with Zach eating and I'm gonna try this and see how it is. So good. Oh my gosh. I'm so hungry. Zoe just had a fit. I couldn't eat for like an hour. It was crazy. Oh my gosh. Mm. Okay, so good. Mm -hmm. I gotta go. She's crying again. I don't know what's going on, but. Okay. Bye, guys. Awesome meal. Highly recommend this recipe. Head over to Caitlin's channel and check it out. Subscribe. It's so good, you guys. Try it. Bye. We're back. So she is happy now. She just snagged the rest of my sandwich. I didn't even get to finish it. I was going to, but she's so cute. I couldn't resist. And then Mr. Zach had an egg McMuffin hey. for dinner. Sissy, do you like it, Mommy? Uh. It's yummy, huh? Ooh. All right, you guys, that's a wrap. I hope you liked this reaction video. I had a lot of fun doing it, and I encourage you to do it with one of your friends and record it as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.